Residents in one eastern Carolina city provided input about their neighborhood park as the city is looking to make major improvements to it. Woodlawn Park has been in Greenville since 1996, but officials say the park is in need of new playground equipment and better accessibility. Jalen Holloway was at the community meeting this afternoon and is live now with more. Jalen. Yeah, Dave. Well, I spoke with a few people who have lived near Woodlawn Park for decades now, and most of them believe that saying that the park needs a facelift is an understatement. Until recent years, coming to Woodlawn Park in Greenville was an essential part of Mari York's relationship with his daughter. I started coming here in the early 1990s with my daughter, uh, who was about three years old at the time. And we would, um, I'd put her on the back of my bicycle and come down here after work, and we had the best time here. The uh, playground equipment has changed since the early 90s. The attraction York says the park once was has become an afterthought for some. Greenville Recreation and Parks Director Don Octagon says improving the park is a top priority as it ranks second on the city's Recreation and Parks Master Plan for 2023. Uh, when this project was identified as, as number two, you know, it didn't really surprise us because there is a lot of improvements that can happen here. Octagon says they recognize the need for better playground equipment and overall accessibility with the park being built in 1996. On Thursday, a public input meeting was held at the park for residents to express what they'd like to see improve. And the main request is for the park to become handicap accessible, which Octagon agrees with. Adding sidewalks uh, to the shelter, to the playground, um, all the amenities that will be included will be accessible. Uh, we're also looking at one or two handicap spots as well. Octagon says city staff is putting together an application for the North Carolina Division of Parks and Recreation's Accessible Parks Grant. And so I think it's a great opportunity uh, to improve the park and then basically you know, put it back on the map. And Octagon says they will go before the city council next Thursday at their meeting to begin the grant approval process. He says a multi-sports court is among several amenities being considered for the park revamp. Dave. All right, thanks, Jalen. And Octagon says the grant is for $500,000.